we can't explain the success of the song. I, I think, I think ultimately, good like good music always comes from the heart, uh, and there's a lot of sincerity in the song. And I think there's elements of it being partially a breakup song, but then there's also elements of it being very liberating, maybe. And and the production sounds cool, sounds amazing. I think um, Come Save Me was actually the first song that Gab Gabrielle and I wrote together. And prior to that we had, we had our own um, separate bands and Come Save Me was like, almost like a side project at the time. It was like, just something that we were doing for fun. Whenever I write lyrics, I, I never attach them to any pure, like, literal meaning. It's not really the importance. It's not what I place importance. I don't write songs about a particular person or a particular situation. But at the same time, when I was writing those lyrics and when, we were, when I was singing, I was going through a breakup. But I actually think that maybe lyrically it could be probably more interpreted in, like, Jono and my relationship. Like, because I think we were both in bands that weren't really doing anything at the time, and we needed some help. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's always far better to let the people and let the audience make up their own minds. I think great art is always ambiguous. My favourite film is 2001 A Space Odyssey, and Kubrick, until the day he died, never explained the meaning of that film. Exactly. And, yeah. and it's one of the, like, you know... It's an incredible film. Pretty much, you know, we came from relatively loving families and, and we grew up on the beach and we had, we were lucky to experience good education and all those sorts of things. Not that I'm saying that Manchester can't uh, provide those things. I mean, it definitely can't provide a beach. That's for sure. Um, which is, de like, the beach is definitely a the muse. Canals. They have canals. Yeah. And they have big, dark warehouses, which is pretty cool. But, Great um, music. And amazing music. So... Just, we definitely have a connection to Manchester. I mean, that I think, you know, from from the get-go, they, they really um, responded, like, that that city and that, that kind of... The, the whole Manchester scene, they, they, it, there was definitely like a kindred spirit b between that and, and what we were doing. I think the music of the Happy Mondays, at like much like Nirvana, who were equally a massive influence on the band, um, like the, it could only go so far. Like the, they were very like those bands were like this ticking time bomb of like charisma, eccentricity, incredible talent, and it, they were going to blow up. Like, and, and so there's an element of, we you know we're from the other side of the world and, and it's quite coincidental. Wow, that swan is rearing up. <laughs> yeah. Jack's, Jack's yeah, getting attacked get, by a swan. I got, a, I got attacked by a swan like, Don't yes. Don't be deceived. No, swans by their beauty. They can't. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're aggressive creatures. They're territorial. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, we're not the children of the Happy Mondays. Yeah.